Get $10,000. Get $10,000 donated to a charity of your choice. Test drive a Ford today and upload your video at twitfordfocus.com. That's the Facebook group. You have until December 31st to do it. I just didn't want, I didn't want the Ford ad to get cut off. <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't pay attention to that. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. All right. So I'm going to dial our guests. Get them on one by one by one. And then how are we doing the show? Are we keeping them all on the whole time and yeah, then just talking to them one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Like Precisely. I like it. All right. We have three guests on the line. And one more guest. Sorry. Oh. And one more in. And myself. You. This is our other open mic guest right here. And Derek, it doesn't look like video is sending Oops. back to you, eh? Well, Trouble, the game plan today is we're going to play a zone defense. Uh, we're going to make sure to try to contain their best player. Hey, Derek, uh, our video is not sending to you. Is that right? Yeah, it's not coming out right now. Yeah, it's showing a blue screen of I death. had that problem on current work on Friday. <laughs> Was it that bottom one? That you know? I don't know which one they had me on, but I didn't get any, Burke couldn't get any return video to me. Try it again, and oh nope, that was blue. So it's not you. <laughs> yeah, it's still a blue screen for me right now. Yep, that's what I had the whole show. I think my video just froze again. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing it frozen. Yeah, but you have a great like distant future looking <laughs> gaze. Can I try for the other one. Yeah. Sure. Well, oh, I'm a sci-fi writer, so that sort of comes with the territory. Yeah, you should use this as your your book jacket. <laughs> Derek, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up on you and call you from the other Skype machine. And see if that helps. Sounds good. Awesome. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, virtually. How do you say your last name? <laughs> it's Houghton Jan. Houghton Jan. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm a fellow San Rafaelian. So. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. I should have just swung by and picked you up. Right. <laughs> Where do you uh, what do you do in San Rafael? Um, I actually work oh, I for the San Jose Public Library, so I commute down there. Oh, okay. But I, I live like right above the mission. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, my uh, cousin is living uh, right like a block of, off Fourth Street. Right. Now. Oh, okay. Yeah, real close. I'm way up in Terra Linda. All right. Cool. Oh, traitor. I know. Thank you. Well, I, I'm a traitor to Oakland, so I might as well just be a traitor to everything. Yeah. Take it the whole way. Yeah. Cameras here set up. Yeah. I am frozen again. Wow, oh. with the Windows launch sound. Oh, that came. Did that come through Skype? Oh, that was back before. Gotcha. I had the wrong one. Someone out. in the chat room just asked, What's a library? And I feel like crying. <laughs> oh, they're just being mean. Trolls. <laughs> Trolls. Yes. Yeah, it does look like your video froze again, Joshua. Obviously, a library is something you dynamically link to. That is also a good definition. Yeah. (laughs) Maybe that's what they were confused about. Maybe. Yeah. I wonder why your video is doing the whole freezy thing, Joshua. Now it's yeah, am, am I back now? Yeah, you're back now. So on your end, when it freezes like that, do you have like a visual cue that it's done that? Um, do sometimes only know the light on my you? webcam will flash, and okay. I notice it on my end. It'll my my picture will be frozen as well. Okay. Right. So I can usually tell when my when my stream is froze. Okay, I'm just trying to think if I don't catch it. Like I said, I'll try and and chat you if that happen if I see that happening, but. Uh, if I don't catch it and you notice it, I guess you can always just turn off and then turn back on your video, and that'll fix it mm-hmm. until it happens again. <laughs> Which it's we hope too, it's it doesn't. It's too cold but, up here. Yeah, the bits are slow. Yeah, <laughs> they get slow in the cold.
So we are then streaming this live, right? Oh, yeah, we're live right now. Yeah, so this is live. Obviously, the show's not started yet, but... We can't start the show until we get Sarah Lane. Who Man, is I here? She's, she's in, the, in the college. In the college. The Twit College. <laughs> That's what we should call the, uh, the, new, the new studio. The... It's a brick. Twit House. It's made of brick. It's mighty mighty. Just let it all stream out. Hey, Sarah. Now we can start. Party doesn't start till Lane gets here. So Joshua, let's see mm-hmm. here. Well, your video's frozen again, but if you can see, that's Joshua Caleb uh, <laughs> looking looking into the future. He's staring at, through oh, you is. right now. There we go. Now it's back. Uh, does that lower third, is that written well? Did I misspell yep. anything? That looks good. Awesome. And then upper right is Sarah Houghton-Jan. Hi, Sarah Houghton-Jan. The other Sarah on the show. Well, yeah. at least she spells it right. And then uh, Derek Chen, D-Dog, down there in the bottom right. Let's see here. This is Sarah. Ron Richards used my um, my footrest on Thursday. I didn't have the heart to tell him to step off. <laughs> you didn't have any problem telling me to step off the well, one time I was accidentally touching it with my foot. That's you, Tom. Sarah, does that look okay? Just want to make sure. Yeah, I haven't... that looks oh. great. Awesome. Yeah, Sarah. Oh, other Sarah. Sorry, Sarah. Yeah. Sorry, Sarah. Sarah. Ah. That's okay. Confused. Hard hard. Ah. Just call me Bud throughout the show, and that will. <laughs> Bud. Is that yeah. Bud? Is that some kind of pot reference? What is that? No, it's it's like... Buddy. Oh, like Buddy. Tom, it's not some sort of a pot reference. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of just Speaking weird, of pot weird things on Mondays, you guys want to hear the weirdest thing you're going to hear all day? Sure. I saw a flasher on my way up on oh. the freeway. On the freeway you on saw the pedestri- a flasher? Okay, so you know in San Rafael there's like a pedestrian overpass just north of like the 580 interchange? Yeah. Guy up there wearing a uh, beige trench coat, flashing people. No kidding. I swear to Buddha. That happened not half an hour ago. Beat it. Strange. That just happened. Strange. I saw two oh, flashers that- <laughs> on the drive here. I don't believe you. I generally see yeah. flashers most mornings at my intersection. I've That's never. Like- I mean, the trench coat. It was. Like, it was like. That's so strange. Central casting. He's like, ah, Monday. Now, are you sure? Was he actually flashing, or did he have, like, swim trunks on and just trying to freak people out? Uh, could, could, you probably couldn't tell, for sure. I, yeah, I didn't actually looking. get... My timing wasn't such yeah, that yeah. I saw... Because I could... The, I'm not saying right he wasn't details. flashing, but I could see somebody, like, pranking people, yeah. like, whoa, and then... Because the whole trench coat so. thing is so stereotypical. Yeah. It was also <laughs> flashing really, so dumb. really hard. Yeah. So it's like... I, I don't know what's fun about that. Derek, I have this. Does that work? Sounds good. Looks good. Awesome. You're in high def now. <laughs> I know. We were, I, had, I ran out and bought a new mic yesterday because uh, my laptop mic was, wasn't, wasn't working too well. Webcam. Uh, what? How come? Yeah. Yeah, it looks great. All right, cool. Anything that... Let me see here. All right. There's, Let's get their sights up. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Cool. Yeah. I think uh, I think I'm pretty much there. Sarah H, I like your blue streaks. <laughs> they are cool. <laughs> I like them too. Thank you. <laughs> it's a digital effect. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah. They are yeah. really there. Jason's adding them post post processing. <laughs> yeah, it's a new trick I have. I can add stre- colored streaks to people's in hair. The present. That yes, it's pretty cool. Saves time in post if you fix it in post in present. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude! Yeah, I know. Blew your mind. 
All right, I'm almost there. Got to get the ad up here. Oh, we have ads? We have an ad. Slingbox. <laughs> mail route. Oh, mail route. Slingbox is uh, TNT, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, just, yeah uh, Tom. Let, let me do the producing, Tom. <laughs> I'm trying to write show notes for a different show right now, okay? What does that even mean? Head in the game, Merritt. Head in the game. <laughs> I forgot to write the show notes for top five, so I have to email them to Zach Miner right now. Oh. Here they come, Zach. Um, have we tweeted out this momentous episode yet? No. I have. I mean, I haven't. Who said I have? Derek? No, Joshua, no, Joshua did. Oh, actually, actually, we both did. Well, let me... As did I. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> okay. Let's, let's get on the same page here. I'm just going to retweet Derek. Oh well, I didn't put Sarah's um, Twitter because I didn't ha- I didn't know her Twitter handle. I'll give you I one like guess. He one single guess. <laughs> you didn't put guess. Joshua's either. Well, there's a Sarah Lane, I mean, and then there's a Sarah underscore Lane. Oh really? I wonder who she yes. is. Yes, according to uh, Twitter search. Oh. Well, well, I'm assuming it's the one without the underscore. That would be me. And you do have a picture of yourself <laughs> at like age four or something up there. Yeah, that's true. It's funny, I get uh, people across the board, people go, I really like that, it's really cute. And other people go, please change your, uh, it's really upsetting, it's upsetting. It makes me feel like I'm talking to a little kid. Some of the things you say oh, just is... coming out of the mouth of young Sarah. Listen, it's not really for She's precocious. <laughs> uh, SarahLanePhotography.com is Sarah underscore Lane. Oh, you know, uh, Sarah Lane Photography is based in Napa, California. She says Washington, D.C. on her Twitter profile, so I wonder if it's a different. Oh, wait. Sarah Lane Studios is based out of Napa. Ah. There's another Sarah Lane? Well, there are a lot of us. There's also Sarah Lane, the uh, oh, ballerina, who is Natalie Portman's body double. You know what we should Swan, do? Because there are a bunch of Tom Merritt's, ruined my too. Google alerts. We should do a Tom Merritt, Sarah Lane show with all of the to- other Tom Merritt's and Sarah Lane's we can get on Skype. I would love to. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I had, a, I, had a random, I, had all year. I had a random Jason Howell contact me on Facebook. Really? And say, hey, there's a Jason there's Howell a Jason out Howell there that's actor. doing something. There's a Jason Howell actor in something? Canada. Oh, really? Yeah. I have friended a couple other Sarah Lands on Facebook just because we're like, let's friend each other. I'm friend with, with, a, with another Tom Merritt, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And you don't know them. I actually have met this guy now because uh, he, he's from Texas and he lives in England. And so when I went to the London meetup, he came to to the meetup and I got to meet him. Was he cool? Yeah, he's not cool. as cool as you. No, he's much cooler actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's really smart. <laughs> <laughs> that was the professor guy, not the um, karate master. No, not the karate master. I haven't met him yet. All right, or the congressional uh, Tom Merritt from Texas. What do you say? Huh? You say we get this show on the road. If you say, let's get this party started. No, I didn't say that. I'll be Quickly. really excited. <laughs> because I like to party. Are we laying the dogs out? I'm a, there is <laughs> what a do you dog say we let out. the dogs out? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? There is, so, Sawyer's right over there. Oh. So the dogs are let, let out. Yeah. Just With keep them in, keep him in the cottage. Oh, Sawyer, you're so cute. <laughs> All right. I'm going to change. Sawyer's always a good excuse to not be paying attention. I'm sorry, Sawyer's in here. That was the Thank best you. in our prediction show. You're like in the middle of a sentence and you're like, oh, hey, Sawyer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I really think that tech is going the way of. Daddy. You were saying, yeah, you were saying oh, something very hey, serious daddy. and like, <laughs> that was great. Well, I can't get on Twitter to retweet anybody now. Oh, no. I knows. I'm on, I'm on uh, the right Wi Fi network. I guess mm. it just doesn't work on today. Does that. I'm on Hercules. I am too. Hercules. Perhaps I should, Well, I don't... Toothpick bird sometimes works better, but I'm using Hercules right now, and it's just fine. Maybe it's just Twitter. Nope. Okay. This is why I'm Tom here. is not in charge of programming. I just noticed in the chat room. <laughs> what? I'm going to be right back in just a second and see if I can fix my internet. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh. Quickly. Y'all want this, this better This is tech quickly. news today. 
Oh. <laughs> cool. So we're, then we're all ready, right? Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, just kidding. I couldn't do Psych. that to you, Josh. <laughs> Well, I was trying to fix my internet, but apparently it's not fixable on my end. Uh, I was just being flaky today. It's all right. We'll, we'll make it work. It's probably not. You probably didn't pay your transit fees to Comcast. No, I'm not on Comcast. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the prediction show will air Thursday, December 30th, whoever was asking that in the chat. And this show that? will air Monday, December 27th. As well as yeah. now, while we record it. All right, for reals. We ready to go about this? Yep. All right, cool. I'll throw this bad boy into record. Uh, these machines. Okay. All right. Here we go, you guys. Hang tight. This is Tech News Today for Monday, December 27th, 2010. Tech News Today is brought to you by MailRoute.info. MailRoute is a secure hosted service that provides enterprise-grade virus and spam filtering to companies of any size. Try it right now, absolutely free, at MailRoute.info. Welcome to Tech News Today. I'm Tom Merritt. I'm Sarah Lane. And I'm Jason Howell. And this is a special edition of Tech News Today covering the holiday break. I'm sure there's some really important text news in today on Monday, December 27th. We don't care about any of that. We don't. We no. care much more about our audience. Absolutely. Because without them, we would not be here. It is time for our open mic episode. What does that mean? That means we're going to hear folk songs and Comedy. slam poetry. <laughs> uh, no, it means we're opening our mics uh, to members of the audience. We had people send in uh, and say, hey, I'm around on Monday, December 21st to record this show. Uh, please pick me. So first, a word to the hundred or so of you not on the show. Thank you for emailing. Please don't be upset that we didn't pick you. We only picked three people because we, we, we just want to keep the show, you know, concise and watchable and all of that. And uh, and we tried to pick a wide variety, although I was foiled in that in one way that I'll explain in, in a minute because um, I wasn't paying attention. But we still love you, and please come back next year or yes. the next time we do it. We might do an open mic episode again sometime before the holidays. Yeah, I mean, anytime we've ever done this, it's been a, a success, and we've enjoyed it just as much as you guys, so why not? Yeah, when he says Absolutely. we've ever done this, he oh. means the listener co-host episodes on Buzz Out Loud. That's where, right. Or where we did the idea first, which they also do, mm -hmm. so maybe you could get on that one somehow. Anyway, uh, let's let's start by introducing... Uh, our guests. Should we introduce them all, and then yeah. then we're gonna we're gonna talk to each of you one at a time, you know. But it's it's kind of like the Tonight Show when the second guest is still out there. You can you can jump in anytime. Uh, we'll go uh, from top left and then clockwise. Uh, <laughs> Joshua Caleb of the Writer Chronicles dot com. Oh. Joshua also has his internet frozen <laughs> no he's just Constantly. very very calm and pensive and put together i, I yeah. just don't move much and composed yeah. and he's really good at throwing I, his voice know, most people when their internet <laughs> freezes they look really stupid but looks, you look great he looks this is like the sixth time this has happened since the pre-show every time you just look like you're staring into the I future i smell a new profile pic yeah <laughs> you should be screen capping these buddy <laughs> Uh, also, uh, a big help in the chat room, Joshua Caleb. Uh, guest number two, Sarah Houghton Jan, a local hey. from here in the Marin County, not too far away from Petaluma. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Glad a to be here. Librarian in black dot net is and her she website. She is in black, and she Always. is a librarian. True, true to yeah. true to herself. Truth in advertising. Yep. And uh, guest number three, Derek Chen, aka D Dog, DXStuff dot com. How's it going, hey, man? Guys. Also, another big help in the chat room. Uh, we appreciate. Glad to be here. We appreciate all three of you and your uh, your participation in the show and sharing your expertise and taking the time to hang out with us today. Let's start by talking to Joshua, uh, so that hopefully we can see his internet freeze a bunch more. <laughs> uh, oh, we're still tweaking his. Uh... Well, it, it's, when it flashes back on, I just have to full screen it. But I've got. Ah, okay. I've got him right here. So, 
quickly, Joshua, while you still can, tell us about yourself. I am a sci-fi fantasy author and currently I've only published one book, but I am working on the second one in my hopefully long-running series. I also have been really enjoying this podcasting thing and am hoping to start one of my own in the not too distant future. So what kind of uh what kind of uh, what is your book about? What and and are, is it uh, how is it published? I've actually self-published it because I got tired of the publishing game and that no one wants to look at you because you've never been published before. It, that whole catch-22 of you can't get an agent without being published and you can't get published without an agent. Mm-hmm. So I just went the who'd, self-publishing route. Who'd you publish it with? I first did Lulu, but I didn't like them. Uh-huh. So then I went with Create Space, and so far they've been really good. That's the uh, the Amazon one. Right? Amazon subsidiary one. Excellent. I did that for the print, and then Smashwords for the ebook. And you've also got uh, you also are on a podcast, and this is where I got fooled because you're on a podcast with D Dog, are you not? I, I have co-hosted a couple episodes with him, and I as. Uh huh. So yeah, we, we knew each other long before this. So we were trying to pick, you know, some people from the chat room, people from Twitter, uh, people from neither, and then I ended up getting two co-hosts of a podcast. Well, <laughs> well he's a guest. It's, 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 we all think alike. Yeah. You know? It's, it, it's hard not to have us all uh, overlapping in some way. That is, that is very true. Actually. You know? It's, uh-huh. it's a, Absolutely. It's a it's an overlapping tech world that we're living in. So now that, now that you've been on the stream for uh, a couple minutes here... Uh, how is it different being on the show versus being in the chat room? <laughs> well, he's probably doing both. Are you correcting yourself in the chat room? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did have the chat window open, but somebody told me to focus on the live stream, so I have that minimized now. Yeah, it's probably a, probably a good way to go. Actually, I'm going to start. <laughs> be a little distracting when you're talking. And I'm going to start. Chat. Uh, it's too bad because I was going to start sending you uh, ideas of things to say through the chat room <laughs> because Joshua does that to me quite often and and it's actually very helpful absolutely I, you've you've caught stories and things for us and uh title master at the end of the show mm-hmm. how do you come up with the title would 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 would, would we say that Joshua Caleb is has the most TNT titles under his belt I would be mm. I mean there's have a, we ever kept track of anything yeah there's like a that? few others who've uh, who've come up with, with come up with titles pretty regularly but he's definitely up there in the top mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that'd be a good statistic to track you know yeah mm-hmm. for fantasy podcast leagues out there <laughs> that'd be- I have about possibly 14 okay that's a pretty good wow. number. four four of them I'm not sure if I came up with or someone else but def- definitely in somewhere on a dozen. I think uh, I think we need to have a wiki going for this. We should. If if someone would like to get on that, especially someone who's got more titles choices than Joshua Caleb, and you know just wants to to basically Take the call, crown. call him on his st- yeah, st- <laughs> you know, you, you you need that backing. You need that wiki backing. <laughs> well, to what do you owe your title success? Um. I, get a, I, I do get a lot of inspiration from the chat room, various comments people make. Sometimes someone will make a will comment or suggest a title, and then I'll take that, combine it with a different idea into a hopefully better title. Oh, so you steal your ideas. Sometimes. It's a collaboration I mean, fair between use. everybody yeah. in the chat room. <laughs> To kind of find some of them just strike the by, or sometimes it'll be something that one of you will say that I think would right. make a good title. As or sometimes just something I come up with on my own. One one thing I will I will give you much credit for, Joshua, is you are very uh, perceptive of content within the show because you've done a lot to actually not only contribute these titles and things like that, but you've also actually contributed audio drops, not necessarily for TNT specifically. I know when when I was over at BOL, you would and and gadgets, you would submit a lot of audio drops, and you've done, now done that with frame rate here at Twit. Oh yeah, so thanks you, for those. You've kind of taken under your wing this this whole audio production thing which i can totally appreciate i love that stuff yeah i found i have a very good interest in like messing with sounds and Mm -hmm. another way i can be creative 
And as D-Dog in the chat room puts it, you're not a Tech News Today guest host until your stream crashes or you lose power. (laughs) That is true. That's actually, it makes you legit. Well, my my stream is freezing, so does that count? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and might I recommend pulling power from the car that's parked outside? Sometimes that helps yeah. to correct things, as it did for Becky Warley. While some folks uh, do use power tools in the background. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's bring in Sarah into the conversation. Sarah Lane? No, no. I mean our guest, Sarah. Sarah. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> Jan, uh, you're you're a librarian, but you're at the San Jose Public Library, which is uh, in the Bay Area, right? Right. I'm the Digital Futures Manager for the San Jose Public Library, which is an awesome title. Um, So I oversee web and tech and uh, mobile and all that good stuff. Uh, We've done a lot of really fun things. Um, I've been a librarian for, oh my gosh, eight years now and focused on tech uh, and the information science side of things and uh, go around the world speaking to libraries about tech. Wrote a book, I'm in the middle of two other ones, and just in general have a good time trying to get libraries to embrace tech um, as much as as I do, and it's been pretty successful. Um, My blog, ah, there it is, uh, Librarian in Black, um, I tend to go on rants a lot about uh, intellectual freedom and censorship and uh, technology and lack of openness, uh, and uh, I, I love it. I love talking with people. I'm going to Australia next month to do it, which is awesome. So, yeah, that would be me. You know, it's funny. We get a lot of librarians uh, listening to the show, and I think people don't realize the the connection there between library science in, as information science mm-hmm. and what we uh, what we talk about on the show. Absolutely. I mean, my degree is library and information science, so uh, I think libraries are a lot more techy than people give us credit for. I mean, we have full digital complements of content to match everything that you would get physically. So. Ebooks, e audio books, downloadable music, um, all of the magazines and journals and stuff online. So, and it's all free, which is awesome. I mean, free with a library card, which is also free. So, I I, I really would like people to to use what we do more because your tax dollars are paying for it. You might as well come to us and and use what we have. Sarah, when you're going around the world helping libraries embrace tech, what does that mean? Uh, you know, is there is there something that uh, you know you'll say um, off the bat? Guess what you can do? This is so easy. It's going to help you so much. And here I am to help you. And you just never know that you needed it before. Or is it like a case-by-case basis type thing? I I focus on a lot of different things, but usually free and open source technology, um, open source things that they can use to make services. I mean, I remember when Mebo first came out, that was huge. It was like Mm -hmm. you can do, you know, IM chat on multiple platforms for nothing. Uh, And and just services like that, I think, uh, help us provide more because libraries are in general very broke uh so we need to use free things and it's just a matter of realizing what is out there what is free and connecting to our users through that i i i love the fact that uh we get so many folks of different backgrounds listening to the show absolutely uh, and 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 it's good uh, this is one of those opportunities to kind of share like you know hey it's not all just IT folks and sysadmins. Uh, it is. There's a lot of you out there, and it's great to have you. But what I really appreciate is is the contributions uh, folks make from their particular expertises because we're, we have to be generalists hosting the show, which means we can't really go deeply into any single, uh, single thing. So when there is a net neutrality and we get uh, the folks who work for Backbones, like Reed Fischler uh, contributing, uh, that's great. What, what are some of those areas that you listen to uh, the show and you're like, well, wait a minute, I know about this. Hold on, Merit. A lot of the information, freedom and access stuff, and huge for us. Uh, copyright, the you know, Digital, Digital Millennium Copyright Act is uh, the bane of my existence. Um, I think that, uh, in general, we have so many problems with making sure that information is free and open. Um, so... For example, recently when we were talking about the, the WikiLeaks being blocked at the Library of Congress, I was just ranting and raving in my car and literally screaming because it <laughs> makes me so angry um, that they would do that. It's such a violation. Uh, yeah, there's my post. There's my rant. Uh, <laughs> such a violation of our core professional values of making sure that information is free and open for everyone. And uh, I was really disappointed. And so I love it when you guys talk about things like that that affect people's access to information, which is, in a lot of cases, what technology is about in the first place. 
All right, and let's uh, last but certainly not least, let's bring in Derek Chen, uh, who I, I I met for the first time I think at CES in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. Is that not right? Yeah, I met you uh, last year at uh, Vegas at the uh, um, I guess at back in with the BOL. Was um, it just live show. last year? It was just last year. It was my wow. first CES ever. <laughs> time flies. But then uh, I met you again at Comic Con, so right, right, you right. took that shot for Fat Emo Kid. Exactly, <laughs> and and even though you listed Fat Emo Kid as a reference, uh, we still wanted you on the show. Uh, you go by the name <laughs> D Dog in the uh, chat room. Also, a contributor of quite a few titles as well. Are you? Are you not? Um, I've tried to contribute for a few titles. Also, sent a few emails over just because. Um, I guess it. Um, I'm, you know, just being kind of uh, passionate about tech, and then. Um, I looked out because um, I guess I work I work in the online ad in- industry right now, so I get to really get in the forefront of a lot of the a lot of the companies and a lot of the issues that you guys actually talk about. So uh, it's pretty cool to you know actually do the stuff that you guys talk about you know for work and then be able to contribute when you guys talk about it. Yeah, you have uh, sent some really informative uh, emails to me that have helped out a lot. Uh, but I know you must get angry at us every once in a while when we say, yeah, advertising agency, they just don't get it. They need to catch up with the times. Is that- no, I mean, it, it's weird because even for me, I, I'm kind of sitting in the middle where as a consumer, I mean, you know, I hate pop-up ads. You know, I get mad when I have to go through a 30-second pre-roll ad. Um, so I, I definitely know what it's like to be a, just a typical consumer and have to go through online ads. So, you know, I, I kind of see both sides of, of the coin. And definitely what I try to do um, is to keep it, you know, fun. And, you know, when I do ads, I try to make the experience good, too. So when I'm picking ads, I avoid, you know, doing pop-ups or spams or, you know, sc- you know, trying to get people's private information. So it's pretty interesting. I would also think, Derek, that it's, it's probably helpful. I mean, although criticism is criticism, when people are complaining about something, you know, an ad being ineffective, that ends up helping you because you, it's it's like you're uh, you're polling us. Yeah, I mean, d- yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot that, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's just really interesting, and um, I think just when we come, even when I listen to you guys and you guys talk about the newest and latest in tech, it really actually is cool in that I can take that information and bring it to my work and, you know, tell my clients and tell my work, you know, here are some new opportunities, you know, here are the newest stories that I've just heard like today. And it really actually goes a long way in trying to push the industry to adopt, you know, these new technologies of the, and these new ways of thinking. So that's cool. It's nice to hear, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Uh, although, uh, <laughs> Jared, the, bring it back to the meeting. <laughs> the, uh, the tagline of your website, all the stuff from East to West, I, I probably also had to take down notice about since I have a, <laughs> podcast called east meets west yeah this is way yeah, too soon it has yeah. east and west in it yeah uh, right you own the rights to east i'm gonna and west, trademark so. east and west in any combination of them <laughs> uh well speaking of ads we have an ad we should thank mail route for their uh, sponsorship of tech news today mail uh do any of the three of you run your own web server your own email um Ayaz is trying to get me to do an email for the podcast that we do so he's been trying to get me to get a, a email account. So it, it's definitely all coming on its way. Well, yeah. If if you are trying to set up your own email system, uh, you even do a a small family system. Uh, you you run it for a few people. You might want to check out MailRoute.info because it stops spam. I can't believe I've been able to resurrect Ace Detect at Subbrilliant dot com, but I have. It's an email address I've had since the nineties, but it was so overrun with spam from being published on the web and being passed around to different mailing lists and this and that, uh, that it was just unusable. There was nothing I could do. MailRoute.info takes all of the mail that comes to that box and stops the spam and lets the good stuff through. Now, that's what every spam protection system uh, purports to do, but MailRoute actually works. Uh, it, it's written by Tom Johnson, a friend of Leo. Uh, he's the guy who wrote Microsoft's hosted exchange services. And I don't know what his special sauce is, but uh, (laughs) I have not had a false positive, and I've only ever had one mail get through that I wondered about. Did I? Would this have been something I signed up for with this Mm. address a long time ago? Because it was an older service, Uh, and I'm like, if I can't tell, there's no reason the algorithm should be able to tell. And there was just the one. Yeah. 
And that's so, it. Everything that's else good. has been from people. Uh, so check them out. $2 per user per month. Outbound services can be used 50 cents per user per month. Uh, and if you have a small family run or a small business account, uh, the price is $33 per year. However, you don't have to pay that much. Twit gets a discount for you. Go to MailRoute.info and you get it for $29.70 per year. That's just under $2.50 per month. Check them out at MailRoute.info and we thank them for their support. All right, round robin style. You don't you don't have any questions for each other, do you? Anybody? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> nope. No, we don't. Round robin style. Uh, Joshua Caleb is. Did you have you watched Tech News today from the very beginning, from episode one? I uh, honestly don't remember. I thought it I was only at least June. Watched them in podcast form. I think. I think. I, I know. I've been watching them regularly for quite a while now. So I can't remember if I missed some of the early ones. Okay, so you may not have seen. Uh, how about you, uh, Sarah? Have you have you had have you been on since the beginning, or did you find us midway? Nope, from the beginning. And then uh, Derek D Dog. Yep, from day one. So how did you guys find out about us? Were you already listeners of Buzz Out Loud, and then heard about me leaving? Yep. Yeah, same for me. I followed you from uh, PLL. Yeah, this isn't as fun as it was on Buzz Out Loud when we've been doing it for six years. Everybody's like, yeah, it was just in June, Merritt. It wasn't that long ago. What's the big deal? Uh, So what is your favorite thing about Sarah Lane? Oh, come on. What are you doing? Uh, No, what is is your... I like that she's snarky to you. Thank you. I like that you like that. By that. Uh, but no, Sarah, let's, let's, I do want to go around the horn uh, and give you a chance to speak on the behalf of the other listeners. What is the one thing you wish we would improve upon? Something that we could do better? Uh, and we'll, we'll go ahead and start with you, Sarah. Something you could do better? You guys rock. Um, have more shows. I mean, I know it's once a day. Do weekends, man. <laughs> Great. Four, four, four times a day. Stop sleeping. Yeah. That would be the one thing I would appreciate. You know, I've toyed around with the idea of doing we've toyed around with the idea of doing a weekend like best Edition. of like clip show mm-hmm. sort of thing. Uh I've I've toyed around in my head, uh and let me know what you think of this, Sarah. Uh if we did like a breakout show of the just the news views with some with the top stories added in as sort of a condensed version. That would work. That'd be great, actually. Yeah. I think for people who don't uh, maybe have enough time to listen to out the full show every day, I think a weekend summary would be great. That's something I could point out to maybe some of the non-techies or the less techies and tell them to listen to or watch. So today, it's like a gateway drug. We could. Suck it is. In. Yeah. Yes. I mean, have we ever thought about, now that we're talking about it, just breaking out the news views and and expanding a little bit on it for each show? I know that's a lot of work. Yeah, well, that's but, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Right? Oh, okay. Is you just yeah, we take out that, and then we we have to add in because each day, as it, a lot of people, you know, no one really sees our pre-show, but every day we have to cut things out because we only have a certain amount of time, and it's usually there's a few stories where we go, ah, eh, that would have been good, but these stories we think are a little yeah. bit more important, so we you know we we've, we've got to cut a few. You could expand on the news views and still have a shorter version of the show, like Sarah said, yeah, right. for people who just like, they don't have an hour, but they've got mm-hmm. 10 minutes to kind of get the breakdown of everything that we thought was important. Right. Um, so get on that, Tom. Yeah. All You've right. You've got time. <laughs> no problem. I'll okay. start doing that right now. Cool. Uh, but what we need is more ideas. Derek Chen, <laughs> uh, um, if, if you could improve something, what would it be? Um. Well... You know, I love all the guests that you guys always have, but I actually think that um, maybe having a little bit more guest diversity. I know it's kind of hard since it's a daily news show, so you're getting the news on on the spot. But I, I really like it when you guys every so often have gotten you know like lawyers in or specialists in whatever the big yeah, story of the I day agree is. With that. And I think if we can do more of that, I think you know because we all hear each other's opinions, but it's always nice to hear from an expert that kind of really can kind of filter out and tells you know I guess what. It, things really are. And yeah, also I love more that. John Strickland, according to the chat room. <laughs> right. <laughs> Is John Strickland in the chat room? Yeah. yeah. I think that's he's, he's part of the chat room. That's under, under, like that. 20 different computers, all different nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's volunteering Probably. to be the expert of all of those areas as well. Because, <laughs> you know, how stuff works. Um, yeah. So uh, I like that idea. Of, I, and, and I agree. We, I would like to do that more often, be able to get the person who wrote the blog post about the rumor or get a person who's in the industry, you know, to comment on that. A lot of times those happen because 
for instance, Reed Fishler, when he came on and explained the whole new net neutrality, he emailed me saying, I know you're going to talk about this today. I wanted to help get you on background. I was like, just come on and, and, and talk to me yourself. So I, I totally am with you on that. I'd love to, I'd love to have that uh, happen more often. So we'll, we'll work on that. Joshua Caleb, uh, do you have something you'd like to throw in the mix as well? I agree with both Sarah and Derek with their ideas. The only other thing I could think of is the time. The having it oh, the time maybe a day. little later or something when you actually air the show. Mm-hmm. Usually when you, air, when you air it at the it's 4.30 my time, which is mm-hmm. right when I'm having dinner. I'm sorry to interrupt your dinner. <laughs> yeah, you you eat have, early dinners. 4.30. Yeah, we usually time for eat dinner. our meal early. Huh. So I usually will have to try and get my dinner and eat while I'm watching the show, which is actually somewhat hazard to my health because you guys are um, very hilarious. <laughs> so. there's, a, there's a choking issue. Mm, or the yeah, chance that the food hazard. might end up on right. the screen. Or, yeah. Are you yeah, in the, the chat keyboard. room while you're eating? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to ask you what you're eating from now on. What's for dinner tonight? We'll lead off, we'll lead off the show with that. It's just like, I'm Tom Merritt, I'm Sarah Lane. Joshua Caleb, what are you eating? Well, you know, the, the for time- dinner today, it's... <laughs> the timing of the show has always been uh, a, a hard thing to deal with because we have all the other shows on Twit that we have to fit it into. Uh, and so 2.30 was the time that... 2.30 Pacific was the time that worked best for that. Uh, and then immediately we had people saying, well, wait a minute, I can't download it until the evening, and that means I don't listen to it the next morning. Uh, and, and so we went through and I, I, I did a big push in July and I asked people like, what would be the ideal time for you? And it turned out that really moving it a half hour earlier, which is one of the things we were considering, wouldn't make that much of a difference. The only time that would make a big difference is moving it much earlier in the day to like say 11 Mm AM, uh, which doesn't make sense because you got buzz out loud at 1030 AM and, and we don't, there's, we don't need to be on at the same time. Uh, cause a lot of people like to watch both. And not only that, but the twit programming that's on earlier in the day would have to be shifted. And you know, sometimes it seems uh, mm-hmm. from the outside, it seems like, well, you just, so you just shift it, but then there's right. other hosts and they've got their own schedules and they're Skyping weekly, in and, this week and, and, and that's, yeah. you know, and they've kind of had their slots and it's working for them as well. So yeah. it gets complicated to move stuff around in a schedule. So es- essentially I've, I've been of the mind since then, like, you know what, there's no reason to move it at all. Let's just do the best we can with this time because any other time is going to cause other unforeseen problems. Mm-hmm. And what we try to do is make sure we have all the news of the day because by 2.30 Pacific, almost all the news of the day has broken. Mm-hmm. So I feel like what we can do best in our time slot is be the last word on tech for that day. Right. Uh, and even if you listen to it the next morning, it, sh- it still should be pretty fresh. You still should be getting most of of the tech news before it, the new stuff starts to break for the next day. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to be, you know, 100%. But well, that's, the stock that's market's what we're closed. Yeah, a lot exactly. of the East Coasters are done for the day. So it's more of like a, this is what happened today. Right. Roundup. But I am sorry about your dinner. Uh, that's okay. And much earlier, and I would be still working, because I, I can't watch Buzz Out Loud live much anymore because my schedule changed. So I'm working much later now. You know what we could maybe do for Joshua Get him is a new job. be less funny. Because <laughs> oh, then yeah, right. while he eats, he won't be laughing. We could try to be. And he won't choke. <laughs> yeah. So we could do that. Or. Um, He'd be willing to compromise in that way. Just make sure that he eats soft foods. Right. Applesauce. Purees. Banana. Or, or he could always give me a new job. <laughs> maybe that's the best answer. What job would you like? <laughs> Let's start that as a uh, Kickstarter project. <laughs> right. We'll get Joshua a new job. All right. Uh, we'll just have everyone buy a bunch of copies of my book. There you go. Well, we will give you a chance to plug that uh, at the very end. In fact, we're going to start wrapping it up now, but uh, I want to give you each uh, a chance uh, to say anything else on your mind, any other questions you have for us, uh, and we'll, we'll start with you, uh, Derek. Any questions for us before we wrap up? Oh, man, on the spot. Um Gosh, I can't think of any questions. Um, well, your one of your questions could be: Could I have a few more moments to think, and could you go to someone else? <laughs> Can you uh, come back to me last and <laughs> let uh, Joshua go first? <laughs> so you want to you want to like play off of all of Joshua's ideas? <laughs> Pretty much. All you right. Know, it's like the it's like uh, the Price is Right. You know, I just have to uh, take his idea and add one to it. All right, uh, Sarah. Well, why don't we uh, give you a shot uh, before we wrap up? Any questions you have for us? 
I think you guys are great. I would throw it out to the chat room to ask people to turn their attention to uh, ways to get nasty uh, digital rights management encoded data onto more devices like the Kindle and the iPad. I I know that there's a lot of brilliant people out there, and uh, I would want to know if people have ideas on how to do that because we're we're struggling with that ourselves. Excellent thought. Uh, and your website is librarianandblack.net. Anything else you want to tell people about finding you on the web? I can follow me on Twitter at the T H E L I B for librarian and black. And uh, yeah, that's uh, those are the two best places to follow me. Sarah, it was really fun having you on the show. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time. It was great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thanks. All right, Joshua Caleb, sci-fi fantasy author. Any questions for us before we uh, check out of here? I did have one question for you, Tom. Yes. Have you gotten your CR48 Chrome laptop? That's a sore subject for Tom Merritt. No, um, <laughs> no Joshua, no. I, I haven't gotten a CR48. I could bring you the one I have at home laptop. and you That'd could be, play with it. Yeah, hey, I have, like, I have great, three, Sarah. Tom. Um, yeah. I guess I could let you borrow one. The trackpad Thanks. is kind of sucky, though. I don't know if you it's, even want it. It's fine. I'm not bitter or mad. <laughs> Anything? Okay, I, but I'm not going to say anything else on that subject. <laughs> did you get one? <laughs> did you yes, act, I actually did. You actually did. got one. How did you get it? Did you get it from the Facebook page, or did you uh, just apply? No, I couldn't find the Facebook page. I actually I signed it up when I first heard about it, and then I found some other link somebody showed me where you just put in your base name and address, and it did that too. And I just got it today. And nice. Well, congratulations. I was actually surprised. In all seriousness, that's fantastic. Uh, what do you yeah, think of it? Yeah, I can't so wait far? to boot it up. I oh, yeah, haven't booted up, booted up yet. yet. We've, we've been keeping you from the CR48? That's cruel of us. Well, I, I let it in charge, and it had to thaw out because oh. it was on the cold. It was frozen. <laughs> so. It comes packed in ice. Yeah, let, yeah. Few, few people realize that. <laughs> Fresh laptop. <laughs> TheWriterChronicles.com. That's the with T-H-E-W-R-Y-T-E-R. TheWriterChronicles.com. Anything else uh, you want to plug on the web? Um, I do have a, if you go to the About Me page on the site, it lists all of the stuff that I do online, and I am trying, I'm also trying to start a podcast for retro games and emulators, and I also started a little while back a little t-shirt shop where I have been creating just little quips and quotes that I put, will put on t-shirts like I have the one from that episode that you and Dr. Kiki were going back about. Right, I saw that. Life is short. Offend people. That that is now on the site. <laughs> I have to order one of those. That that that's fantastic. Uh, Joshua, thank you so much uh, for for watching the show, for contributing to the show. Yeah, thank uh, you, and for everything. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. All right, Derek. Is that enough time for you? Unfortunately, the only question I can think of right now is, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Bravo. <laughs> All right, uh, Derek Chan, dxstuff.com. Uh, and uh, anything else you want to plug as well? Yeah. Um, I guess uh, me and I, as we actually do a podcast on, uh, on s- sun- uh, Saturdays, which we post on Mondays. And it's, it's just tech news as well but more for the common consumer for the non-techie geek um and then uh you know just find me on derek c82 uh on twitter d-e-r-i-c-k c82 uh and uh, i think a few of us from the chat room actually we're going to go to ces as well so definitely hit us up um me fat Mo- fat emo kid uh frontline 99 we're, we're all going to be there so uh we're looking to party hardy while there so well, so is Tom. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know Tom as, is looking to party hardy at CES. Yeah. So oh, we got tequila ready good. for Tom. You know what I usually end up doing at, at CES? Hanging out in your hotel room? I No, I, I, I find Veronica Belmont, and then we go and we sit at a bar, and we tell people to come meet us. <laughs> That's And then we just kind of, you know, that works. relax, because you're so tired. I know. At the end yeah, it's not like a, after a 12, 14 hour yeah. day you want to go hit the clubs you know? so uh you know look yeah. for us on, look for us on twitter look for us in a bar in las vegas somewhere <laughs> look for our instagrams and then try to figure <laughs> out what bar that is <laughs> and you can find us thanks man i really appreciate all of your help and your insights as well especially on the ad stuff it's really been helpful yeah thanks Tom. i mean it's it's really an honor to be here so i love watching the show pretty much all the shows on uh twit so thumbs up so there and there you go if you want a weekend show you can, you can watch I as in D-Dog. Get the tech <laughs> news on the weekend. 
All right, uh, Sarah, anything else before we wrap up here? I uh, just want to say it's always really great to, to be able to see and hear and listen to uh, folks that are watching us all the time. Um, it's great to turn the tables. I think we should do this more often. Yeah, Absolutely. we should have totally turned the tables and had them interview us. Well, okay, let's not that, go crazy. Yeah. We'll put that up there next to the uh, show full of other Sarah Lanes and Tom Merritt. Right. But no, I mean, it was, it was great. It was, it was really fun to be able to interact with yeah. um, the three of you. And, and just thanks. Thanks I for re- coming on. I really love doing this. And, mm-hmm. and we t- say this every year, Jason and I, uh, but we, sh- we should try to do this again before the holidays. All right. We'll it's make it work. So fun. I'll, uh, we could do it a Valentine my calendar, calendar. open mic, Memorial oh. Day open mic. You know, we could, like, we could make it, is it like Monday. a holiday type thing. Yeah, it, could be, it, is a good, uh, it is a good holiday show. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. The Memorial Day show could be, you know, could have a theme of like memories or your favorite dead technologies or something. Yeah. Or not. Or <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it for us, everybody. Uh, remember, it's special episodes all week on Tech News Today this week. Uh, we've got a predictions episode, a predictions results show. Uh, so check those out. They'll be in the feed. They'll be streaming live at 2.30. And we will also be coming back to you live on Monday, January 2nd. Is it January 2nd or January 3rd? With a show from here. And then we're off to CES for live shows from Las Vegas. Woohoo! So check us out. Twit.tv slash TNT. We'll talk to you later. Have a happy holidays. Happy New Year. D-Dog was cutting a rug. Yeah. All right. That was great, y'all. Right. Thank you so much. Yay. Thanks, guys. It's a pleasure and an honor to join you guys. That was Absolutely. Uh, it was a, uh, a pleasure to meet you guys in in sort of person. Where are you guys going to be located at uh, CES? We're kind of, we're in a few different locations, but are, we do have one home base, right? Yeah. Are we in the same location that Twit was last year? So it's in the South Hall. Uh as you enter the lower level, will be kind of you kind of like go in and make a U turn, and we're right there on a stage uh, at the very front of the South Hall. I've copied it. So essentially, CNET's upstairs in the South Hall, outside the lobby. We're downstairs in the South Hall, just inside. Very cool. We'll definitely check you guys out. I'm sure you'll have me, uh, me, Fat Emo, and a whole bunch of people stalking you guys. Yeah, please do. Come on by. Uh, and then <laughs> what Sarah away. was mentioning, other locations, we're going to be out and about with the live view cameras yeah. uh, mm-hmm. a lot as well. Yeah, because what's the fun of CES just to be sitting in one place the whole time? Yeah, you miss if your everything. feet don't hurt, you haven't huh. attended CES. Right. Interesting. I have not explored CES uh, outside. Hi, You've never been let out place. of the glass Ooh. box yeah, before, exactly. I know. I'm actually looking forward to this year. I don't remember <laughs> inviting Sawyer onto my lap, but it's happened. Yeah, he's a little pushy that way. Sawyer would he like would... to go to CES. Sawyer goes there. Yeah. He says he wants to see the showstoppers. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for participating. Cool. Really appreciate talking to you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Yep, it was great. Thank you. Absolutely. Bye. Have, Bye. A, have a wonderful holiday, Bye. you guys. Woof. You as well. You too. Bye. You too. Sawyer has dog breath. Yeah. Not going to lie. He's a little stinky. What's going on? He needs a toothbrushing. My cat Sam has tartar, and he's got mm-hmm. similar breath. And they keep saying, oh, just brush his teeth. I mean... You try to brush actually, a cat's teeth? Yes, it's it's actually That's much harder than a dog's. Uncool. Yeah, <laughs> the, the dog will be like, oh, it's like having a tree. It just try to lick the toothpaste and so Are Sawyer. Are you touching my junk? I'm gonna have you arrested. You are a player. <laughs> You're really cute though. Okay, I'll marry you. That's how he you. gets away with it. <laughs> yeah. He, we can't teach him not I'm to jump up on people because people ant love eater. it. <laughs> I don't know any better. Half skunk, half anteater. <laughs> <laughs> the shame of his family. <laughs> but seriously, what are you doing? Where, where do you think you're going? Oh. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm told that this uh, green tech today, which is coming up right now, is a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and start it, even though we're three minutes early. All right. It's full of more goodness. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Chock full of more green goodness. Let's watch. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. 
bandwidth for Green Tech Today is provided by CashFly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. <gasps> Psych! Oh, sorry, I forgot the tease. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't. Go. Coming up on Tech News Today, it's open mic. That means folk songs and slam. No, it doesn't. It means we took some folks from our audience and selected them to be on the show and talk to us about what they think about technology. It's Turn the Tables Tuesday on a Monday on Tech News Today. Excellent. All right, now we return you to a regularly scheduled 